Hey there YouTube, it's Ryan Welton Music and tonight what I'm doing is putting together the video from my recent vacation. I met up with Christy and Olivia in Atlanta. They spent a few days at the happiest place on earth, Disney World in Orlando. They went to Gulf Shores, Alabama and they went to Jacksonville and then I met up with them in Atlanta where we ate at the Buttermilk Kitchen and then moved on to Myrtle Beach, South Carolina and then drove to Asheville, North Carolina, one of the most beautiful towns I've ever been to. We ate lots of food, had great times, and then took it on west to Nashville where we stayed a night and ate some poutine at a place called Party Fowl, and then we went to Oklahoma City, but not before I picked up a whole bunch of yingling. Long story short, this is the video from that trip. A lot of food, a lot of fun, a lot of time at the beach, and a lot of ridiculousness. Thank you for subscribing to this channel. More music coming up soon. More of a focus on music, really, I've got some surprises in store for you, but in the meantime, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell for notifications, and you know what's next. Stick around. Stop one of the uh, big deep south road trip is Atlanta. We ate at an amazing place called Buttermilk Kitchen. And you notice I'm wearing my Braves hat. I'm not normally a Braves fan. I grew up watching WTBS just like everybody else. But I had to stop and see what SunTrust Park was all about. The thing about being a Rangers fan and knowing that we're about to get a new stadium when we don't really need a new stadium is, why did the Braves do it? Why did Atlanta do it? They had Turner Field for only 20 years and then they built this. And I gotta tell you, I get it. I'm gonna take you around this area, this Battery Park. It is absolutely amazing.
Another stop on our tour through the Deep South is Athens, Georgia, home to REM, B-52, and an iconic music scene. But of course, the University of Georgia is known for its Bulldogs. The Bulldogs who beat my beloved Sooners in the Rose Bowl last year in the college football playoff. This is their home back here, Sanford Stadium, home to 92,000 screaming Bulldog fans. There was no way for me to get up and actually see the field, but it's a neat little place between the hedges.